After enjoying seven days living on Anka, we were now ready to go and explore another city. Qashqais and Lisbon are our destination and it should take around 10 hours. So we haven't really recorded much, but um, we've left Panish after much debate. Uh, I'll fill you in a bit more when Ebron comes back to the cockpit and we'll talk through with you uh, what's happened, what we're thinking this morning and stuff. But just thought I'd show you, uh, Brian is having a go at doing the whisker pole. And um, we're dead downwind, so we're gonna try and put the whisker pole on the head sail. Uh, we've never ever used this before. A quick YouTube tutorial last night and we're gonna have a crack and see how we get on. The whisk pole is up, we think. <laughs> well, it's up. It's definitely there. It's there, like there is a whisker pole on the head sail. Still learning, essentially. And the forecast was 14, 15 knots of wind with gusts over 20 and a 1.6 to 2 metre swell, starting off at a 2 metre swell. And we just kind of didn't know what that was going to feel like, so we didn't know like if it was a good idea to go out just with that but on top of that there's an acceleration zone as we get to the place that we're getting to and we've already had some friends that have gone round there that have said it went from 10 knots to 30 knots yeah within minutes within minutes so we're gonna get down there and the forecast is saying it's meant to be about 18 knots of wind so gusting up to 24. Gusting up to 24, so we're wondering what it's actually Yeah, we don't know if that means that's what it is going to be like in the yeah. acceleration zone, or is that just like a base level yeah. and then the acceleration zone, it's going to go from like 25 to like 35. Yeah, so we're a little bit apprehensive yeah. about that bit. But it was either go today or motor. Yeah, there's a chance. Motor all day tomorrow. This yeah. morning we were like, I'm in an R in. We were like, shall we? I really, I was really close to like just not going. And also, we're both so tired today because we did not sleep a wink last night. No. It was an awful night's sleep. <laughs> that anchorage, like, it's a good anchorage. And you know what? We did not budge for four days. Like the anchor held for four days. Yep. No more than that. Five, five days. Five something. days. Yeah, yeah. So it was a really, really, really good anchorage to be honest for holding. Um, but the fishing boats driving in and out. They do not stick to the speed limit. No. It was like being on passage, like everything was falling around in the cupboards. It was like we should have stowed away to go to sea. Yeah. It was that rolling. Yeah. be sick I guess. Oh no. No I haven't. I only went to the loo but it's very rolly and yeah. wow it doesn't feel good being down there. No. Looks like we've got to spend time together now. <laughs> so we're not too far. I think we're what like two three hours away. Something like that yeah. About that. Um, still no wind but we are getting to the acceleration zone now. Being this is only 10 knots of wind now with us I think we should be okay. Yeah, we're prepared anyway, we're on alert. Yep, and also uh, just been chatting to our old boat neighbour Mark. Um, and he's, he's from South Sea. And he's just been like, keeping me updated with like, I was just, he's, he's just got a, a tiller pilot similar to this one, the next model up, and he was just showing me like, all the cool things he can do on his chart plotter. So I need to get mine updated. Uh, hopefully I might be able to do this our, ourselves. Because then he can like, he can basically operate it all from the uh, from either the Triton or the Vulcan and it can also like steer to wind and stuff like that at the minute we kind of just push push the buttons and yeah and it, it steers to a course so like we tap nav and it will follow the waypoints that we've set which is a, a godsend as it is already 
but you know, if we could get them extra features, I'm all about my tech and I, so. You love it, you're a tech head. I do love my tech. up a 60 foot yacht. <laughs> yeah, we were blocking the fuel pontoon so there was no space and we did need fuel but we were also checking in and then the uh, the uh, crew member here was like, you need to move because the 60 foot yacht comes to fuel up. It is insane. We didn't film it, I have no idea why. Filmed that yacht. Look at that There's some super yachts here. This place is so beautiful. beautiful. Look at all the flowers, like they have so many beautiful flowers on the buildings. This beautiful town is one of the wealthiest in Portugal and the Iberian Peninsula. It has one of the most expensive real estate markets and one of the highest cost of living in the country. There's also so many art galleries, museums, and beautiful beaches to see. However, in typical Jade and Bryn style, we only actually spent one day in Kashgai, so would absolutely recommend that if someone goes, you spend a little bit more time exploring than we did. So today we got up early, left the boat and travelled to Lisbon. Uh, we've heard so many good things about this place. Yeah. So let's go explore.
my god, look at them. Spot of lunch. Yes. A Jade and Brin special. Pesto pasta. Pesto pasta. Yeah, lunch with quite a view to be honest. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, just gonna gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna wander back towards mm -hmm. the old town Alabama. Are we gonna get we might get the tram? Oh yeah, yeah, we might get the tram. We've been told to get a 28 tram apparently. Number 28 is quite a cool journey, so we jump on that. Yeah. glorious beautiful place it has been some of the best days that we've had been here for four nights now um, and it's just been awesome it's such a beautiful beautiful place it's just a fleeting visit unfortunately so where's next on the agenda so we've got a 24 hour sail slash motor today um, and yeah, we want to get into the Algarve. That's the plan. This route that we're going uh, consists of us going a little bit offshore. So I'll put a little map up and I'll show you the kind of angles that we're going to be going at. I'm going to probably try and stick to a direct route because I don't think the winds are going to be very strong. They're not predicted. We've actually got really low winds for about a week now. Yeah. No, so ho hopefully we'll be able to do some sailing. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of why I want to stick to a direct route because there's no point trying to chase the wind if there's no wind there. Um, so yeah, we're going to be going over a thousand meters, I reckon the depth will be, and we'll be about 17, maybe even more than that, nautical miles off the coast. So yeah, it should be uh, an interesting journey and it's 24 hours. Yeah. Um, so yeah, due to the acceleration zone at Cape St. Vincent, we've heard it gets really crazy there and you need to try and pass it uh, before 3 p.m ideally around like before 12 and kind of the only way to time that is either li leaving from here and, and sailing for 24 hours or if you went to Sinez and anchored you'd, you should leave Sinez at night time yeah so unless you've got a faster boat than us yeah <laughs> but obviously we're looking to do four knots so um in low winds motor like because if, if we're motoring especially we're slow under motor yeah if we were sailing we'd do good time but Yes, that's the problem. So um, we've we've been chatting to uh, our Instagram friends Claire and Ollie, who are a bit ahead of us, and that's what they did. And I think it sounds like a good plan. So yeah, um, yeah I think we're gonna copy what they did after some thought and just do that. We've been avoiding night sails for a while because 
been apprehensive about fishing pots. Um, but we figure if we're offshore, then there shouldn't be too many fishing pots in that depth. That's the plan. That's the plan. Um, <laughs> hopefully we, we don't get caught out, because I guess there's a chance, but... Yeah, we'll see. not. We've had just the loveliest time exploring Lisbon and Cascais, and we did really, we really liked it. We loved it. Yeah, like it's such a nice feel there. Be just a beautiful place as well. Like the architecture and the history is insane in this place, so yeah. definitely worth checking out if you're passing by. Uh, and then yeah, nice big journey today. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna leave now, so time that's to our get plan. them lines ready. Yep. <laughs> Cue montage of leaving the marina. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you'll join us next time as we have yet another foggy, uncomfortable sail down the Portuguese coast. When we put the engine on, I noticed that um, it just didn't sound right. There was something wrong. And I looked out the back and there was no, there was no water coming out, so. But finish up in the beautiful Algarve. Keep dancing with the devil, baby,